Euh, nous restons sur euh, le partage d'une vision du futur euh, avec notre prochain intervenant qui est euh, le président directeur général de SUS. Euh, il va nous parler de l'entrée dans une nouvelle phase d'ouverture et d'innovation. Euh, C'est également comme Ubuntu un sponsor de l'Open World Forum. Je vous demande de l'accueillir généreusement. So, bonjour and good morning. So, for the next uh, couple of minutes, I will talk about how enterprise customers are actually entering the next phase of openness and innovation in their data centers. Source uh, technology. Susan, in many cases, so I think we have to adjust that maybe a little bit better. Okay, so here we go. First, let's have a look, a reminder of what are the promises, what are the of uh, OS and Linux solutions specifically. So obviously there is, uh, and we know, all know that it's not written on, on this slide, there is uh, the reduced total cost of ownership, which is one of the uh, advantages which is widely accepted by now. And then uh, more Linux specifically, obviously there is the capability to customize Linux relatively easily to the different unique requirements uh, of, of software and hardware platforms. Now, above all, it is about the power of the community. So people coming together in a collaborative effort, developing, innovating, contributing, and share while they're doing that. So this power of the community ultimately is one of the driving sources uh, of, of openness uh, and of, uh, of the ability to, to generate a large variety of best-of-breed technology. Now, power of the community, best of breed technology ultimately means there is a freedom of choice for the enterprise customer. And freedom of choice is these days very well recepted and accepted by enterprise customers. In fact, if you talk to some of the analyst companies like Gartner or Forrester, they'll tell you that there's a growing uh, discomfort in enterprise customers to face more and more vendors that, that preach them into a vendor lock-in and actually uh, um, Enterprise customers see the danger of that and they see that open source technology, open source products are a healthy alternative to that. So freedom of choice is one of the promises. Then um, if you think about an enterprise customer who wants to use uh, uh, open source solutions, and obviously there's also the question of receiving high quality, uh, reliable services and support for the open source solution. And uh, here I have to tell you that uh, obviously that comes in the majority of the cases of com commercial open, uh, s uh, open source vendors uh, like SUSE at the end of the day. So if you add all those points up, then it's no wonder really that the result is that Linux is and continues to be the fastest growing operating system uh, uh, in the data center. Uh, so if you look at numbers that IDC provides, they still predict for the next three to four years to come uh, a yearly growth, an annual growth of 20% of Linux as an operating system. The only other operating system growing is Windows at a rate of 6%. And then the third large operating system which you find in the enterprise, uh, which is Unix, actually is predicted with an annual decline, an accelerating decline of 7 to 10%. So now at SUSE, how are we doing actually in, in meeting, helping customers meet those promises and expectations that they have into open source uh, solutions? So we have the philosophy also in SUSE, obviously we are an open source company, to innovate and provide best of breed technology in collaboration with the open source and FOSS community. In our case, it's the open SUSE community. So there is the power of the community. So we share the same code base for our main architectures. We share an open build service that we utilize, uh, both in the open source as well in our, uh, our own development teams. Uh, we also share best practices around quality uh, assurance and also tools in the area of quality assurance. So a real uh, effort together, a shared effort together with the community to develop our solutions. So in that era, we clearly uh, deliver on the promise of, of open source. Now, while we innovate uh, together and, and bring Linux solutions to the marketplace, we are now in a situation where we clearly outperform Unix with regards to performance, scalability, and reliability. 
And to fulfill just one more on, on one of those open source promises, uh, that's done at, at a lower uh, total cost of ownership because Linux runs on industry standard hardware, obviously. That means there's more choice for the right hardware for your, your unique use case. And that ultimately results in lower cost. And that's what open source is to some degree also all about. Now, like I said earlier on, in an enterprise context, uh, you always need the quality service and support, the reliability predictable uh, service and support for your installation. And also there we pride ourselves actually to be the Linux uh, vendor in the marketplace that constantly scores very high, if not the best, in the area of technical support. So on an annual basis, we engage uh, in, in a study, an independent study done by the Lighthouse Research Institute, where they query customers from different uh, Linux vendors and ask them, so what is your experience? What is your feedback about the quality of the technical support. And we constantly uh, get the highest rates in that area. And especially, there's a subset of the questions when customers are asked, so what is the experience that you get with your Linux support in an, in an heterogeneous environment where it's all about interoperability? Also there we get the highest rates. So talking about heterogeneity, so obviously the data center is heterogeneous already today. Many investments have been done over the years into technology and customers would like to leverage that. Um, once the data center starts to move to become more of a virtual data center on its way to the private cloud, uh, heterogeneous, heterogeneity becomes much more of a topic. And ultimately it will require interoperability to, uh, to be successful in the heterogeneous uh, virtual data center. So uh, we have a goal in, inside, inside SUSE to, to, uh, to deliver interoperable uh, a Linux platform for mission critical uh, computing. And uh, I give you also an example on how we achieve that. There's the next bullet point that you see, which we call the perfect guest strategy. In order to explain what perfect guest strategy means to us, let's look at the area of virtualization. So in the context of virtualization, uh, best of breed uh, standards, interoperability, uh, means that we support all the main virtualization platforms and technologies that are out there in the marketplace. So it's all about uh, one of the open source uh, uh, promises. It's freedom of choice. So we are not forcing our customers to decide whether they want to use KVM, Xen, uh, vSphere from VMware or Hyper-V. Whatever they decide, we respect and our platform works seemingly well in all those platforms. So again, it's, it's a matter of fr uh, freedom of choice and uh, supporting interoperability. Now, when you want to be successful in this area, and earlier on I said it's not just about the technology, it's also about the service and support, then you need to make sure that you have the right uh, industry support, the right partner alliances lined up. And often these alliances are not open source companies, which if you think about it makes a lot of sense because the data center is heterogeneous. Work, sorry, I think I'm losing uh, the, the tone from time to time, right? Um, so you, you definitely have to, to, to collaborate with companies that are present in the data center as well. So SUSE Linux is the only Linux operating system that is equally well supported by the same time by companies like Microsoft, VMware, and SAP. Actually, they don't just support and work with us, they endorse and propose to use Linux in the majority of the use cases. And um, that is a clear sign also of an, of an effort to improve on, on interoperability at the end of the day. Let's use the Microsoft example. Uh, I think Microsoft came to the conclusion, definitely to the conclusion, that Linux is something that they have to uh, support, embrace, and live with in the enterprise data center. And obviously, we being a Linux vendor, we know that there's a lot of windows out there. And it makes a lot of sense to, uh, to engage in, in a business collaboration uh, uh, relationship a technical collaboration relationship with a goal to improve interoperability uh, uh, between the two uh, uh, technologies. So next I would like uh, to shift more into the direction of innovation and look a little bit at the cloud in the context of providing uh, workloads in the cloud with a high level of service. So um, Linux obviously is uh, the platform of, of choice in the cloud. Um, and SUSE Linux itself actually runs in the cloud. Uh, many uh, platforms, sorry, many workloads uh, use SUSE Linux as a platform in the cloud. For example, if you would run SAP workloads 
uh, on the Amazon EC2 cloud, the underlying platform would be SUSE Linux, for sure. But it's not just about that. It's about uh, the 6,500 certified applications that we have from ISVs out there that are waiting to be brought to the cloud, to be deployed in the cloud and used in the cloud running on, on SLES. And we have a, a, a relatively new product in our portfolio, which is called SUSE Studio, which allows you to assemble, build, maintain, and uh, deploy portable application stacks, and then deploy them everywhere you need. Okay, every, everywhere you want. So it's, it's platform agnostic. And um, SUSE Studio uh, does that, and, and it also allows you to create virtual uh, applications. And again, these virtual applications, because I'm preaching interoperability, uh, uh, can be deployed uh, on different virtualization platforms. Uh, VMware Xen, KVM, and also we embrace the OVM standards with that approach. Uh, OVM, uh, um, oh, sorry, OVF, uh, Open Virtualization Foundation, they publish a standard, an open source standard for virtualization, and we adhere to that standard as well because it's an important driver in the open source uh, market around virtualization. Another example that I would like to choose to illustrate what freedom of choice means, um, if you deploy Linux operating on the server, operating systems on the server, then if you want to uh, really achieve the maximum return of your investment, you better make sure that you have good Linux server management, hopefully automated server management. And we have a product uh, that does that. That's not so much the surprise, uh, which is called SUSE Manager. But we went one step further because we also make sure that with SUSE Manager, you can actively manage deployments of other Linux server systems as well. Because again, we acknowledge that there's heterogeneity in the uh, IT data center, also sometimes different Linux flavors, and we want to give customers the choice to manage different uh, operating systems with the same uh, um, uh, tool, with the same uh, product, which is so, uh, called SUSE Manager. So, obviously, um, talking about uh, products and your solutions and, and how you adhere to open source promises is one thing, but having customers that buy that from you is another thing. So, we have more than 13,000 corporate enterprise customers around the world, and many of those uh, are willing to be our references. Many of those are willing to talk to the market, uh, to other customers, about the experiences that they made with open source customer uh, uh, products from, from SUSE, and have a small snapshot of solutions here that, that uh, sorry, not of solutions, it's not a uh, small snapshot of customer references that I wanted to run by you. Now, there will be workshops, breakouts during the course of the day. You're probably aware of that. And Suze is doing uh, breakouts as well from 10 to 12.30, uh, I think, in, in, in the room Namur on the second floor, you would be able to hear about how we really differentiate in the enterprise market with our Suze Linux solution and how we then engage with those, with those customers and what the use cases are. So I encourage you, if you're interested, I encourage you to go there and, and listen to that as well. So I, I, I took a selection of customers around the world. Uh, obviously, there's a French one that I, that I also picked. Uh, Peugeot, Citroën is actually using uh, um, uh, SUSE Linux on their desktop and on their servers, both in the production facilities and in their administration sites. Uh, it's the, uh, the lot change who uh, are basing a very critical workload, uh, um, their trading system as, as a stock exchange, on Linux. Um, so they, 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 they use a workload that requires high performance, high throughput, and really base it on thousands of, of Linux servers uh, um, in, 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 at the London Stock Exchange. BMW is, is an example of a workload from SAP running in a virtual environment. Very interesting. SAP gets off deployed in virtual environments. Uh, so in this context, they are using uh, SLES high availability, uh, 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 running on, on Xen in their production environment. So also a very interesting uh, use case. And then the last one that I would like to mention is one that I like a lot because I just uh, visited China uh, the other week and I met uh, the company Tencent, which is one of our largest customers in China. Actually, it's an internet service provider who has 900 million customers. So the scale sometimes in China is different. So 900 million customers, and they have completely standardized all their servers running on Linux, running on SUSE Linux in China. By the way, China very uh, 
market for us. It's very dynamic, fast growing, and you can do good business there. And we have a market share of 35% in China. It's growing annually by 25%. So it is a very interesting place, very dynamic, lots of interest, lots of curiosity, lots of good uh, initiatives going on, lots of uh, 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 potential to partner there, and, and we are heavily engaged in that area. So, a little bit of an outlook about the next wave of innovation. Next wave of innovation in the context of uh, cloud infrastructure. We heard uh, early on about that as well. Um, there is a growing demand of corporate enterprise customers for uh, open source cloud infrastructure solutions. So the enterprises are moving slower than sometimes people maybe but they're definitely exploring to move their traditional data center environments into a virtual data center environment, and then from there into the private cloud. And um, today already in the data center, they often rely on open source solutions. They rely on open source Linux solutions, and many of the solutions that, that they have already have functionality or ingredients that are actually important also in a private cloud environment, high availability. Distributed and scalable storage management would be another uh, example. Deploying images, workloads, but then also storing them and retrieving them is another uh, uh, thing that you have to do both in the, in the, in the virtual uh, data center, in the private cloud in the future. So customers are moving gradu gradually there, and while they move gradually, they also uh, uh, ex expect that their partners, their open source partners, move with them and adopt their own solution set to come to market with an open source infrastructure solution uh, in the future. And that's what we're doing. So we have technology in that place already. Yes, we can build virtual images and deploy them seamless into the, uh, to the uh, cloud. Yes, we have SLES, Linux, as the platform in the cloud. We have management capabilities. We have interoperability, partner relationships. So there's many things that we already have. We have failover. We have distributed and scalable storage in our product line. Now, the next goal is why we evolve together with our customers is to form an, an integrated, uh, co comprehensive uh, open source infrastructure solution that we then uh, take to market uh, to, uh, to our customers. So that's, that's the next uh, uh, wave of innovation. And like always, uh, some of the te technology is already there. It's open source technology and the missing pieces we will develop by hooking up with other open source projects and develop uh, uh, in, 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 in conjunction, in partnership with the open source uh, projects and communities. Because like we said on one of the first slides, at the end of the day, the power is with the community. So that brings me to the end of my presentation. I would like to thank you for coming and for listening in. I also uh, would like to wish you a good day for the rest of your day, for the breakouts, and tomorrow. Yeah, enjoy your day. Looking forward to see you soon. Thanks. Merci beaucoup.